An update from a story we first reported on back in October. You may remember J.C. on Charles, the eight-year-old who was severely burned in Warren. Yeah, he spent the past five months recovering at Children's Hospital, but tonight he's finally back home with his family. Gary Burton Jr. joining us live in studio with an update on the boy's future. Gary. That's right, J.C. on is finally home. His burns led him to being on a ventilator, suffering from kidney failure, brain damage, multiple surgeries, and he even coded twice. But now it's all happiness for the eight-year-old's family as they know he'll be okay. But they still believe things just don't add up. The investigation into how this happened is ongoing by state police. After a long road of recovery, J.C. on Charles has two words for all those who prayed for him. Thank you. His mother, Lakeisha Beelan, and grandfather, Earl Charles, feel the same way. He still the love and caring J.C. on and, you know, concern J.C. on. On August 9th, 2022, the eight-year-old received burns over most of his body while at a friend's house on Bradley County Road 280 in Warren. Charles went from this to this, which led to this. Not able to say nothing or talk or, you know, really move. He was hospitalized for five months, but on January 20th, he was able to go home to his favorite activities. They take and play basketball. Now, J.C. On was only able to show me his video game skills because he's still working on his walking. You just know you're going to win. Yeah. And also his speech. We still got a long ways to go, but we're going to get there. Finally, able to talk again, J.C. On's mom says he's only told her what she already knew about August 9th. A fire erupted when the family J.C. On was with was outside cooking. Just so many people dropped the ball. They say that family didn't call the police when J.C. On was burned, which sparked concerns as to why. Now, as Arkansas State Police continues to investigate, the family is grateful J.C. On is back home and back to living and dreaming like an eight-year-old shoe. Are you going to be a basketball star? Yeah, probably. You going to be a star? And Jesse Ann's mom did tell me that ASP went to speak with him for more details on what happened. I reached out to them today for an update, but didn't hear back. The last I heard from ASP was on December 16th, where I was told, quote, the investigation remains in an active and ongoing status. We'll be sure to keep you updated as we learn more. Reporting live in studio, I'm Gary Byrne Jr. Back to you.